Hey everybody, welcome to Jittery J Reacts. I'm Jittery J, and today we're reacting to Meet Carl Pilkington, the both parts, uh, part one and two, um, which I may still have to split it in two parts. I didn't realize this was a 42 minute video, but uh, this was requested by Bunny Monster uh, quite a while ago, so um, thank you for your patience with me. Uh, I remember I did one with Carl. It was uh, learning English um, with Ricky Gervais, uh, and yeah, he is—he's just such a lovable character. It—it's—it's—it's it's, it's funny. But anyway, uh, let's get this. Where's it at? Lost it. Oh, there it is. Let's get that out of the way. Um, let's get this started. Uh, like I said, it's a 42 minute video, so I may, it's, uh, from the description, it's interviews from before and after an idiot abroad. So, uh, I may stop it after the first interview and then part two will be the second one. Um, I'm going to do them both, but that way I can get them uploaded easier. But anyway, let's get into this. I can stop talking and get recorded or get playing it. Hi, um, thanks for buying my DVD politics. Uh, as a little extra, um, I thought you could meet a friend of mine. I talk about him in the show, Carl Pilkington. Um, I thought it'd be nice for you to get to know him a little bit better. So please meet Carl Pilkington. All right. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Look at his little roundy, baldy monkey head. Are you getting right here? <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl. A lot of subjects we touch on um, in the in the stand up and in politics in general. Yeah. Things like race, disability, sexuality, law and order, <coughs> crime and punishment. And I want to go through those uh, with you and uh, find out your views on those subjects and thereby the general public getting to know you better. So let's go for it, shall we? Oh, boy. This, uh... This can't turn out good. <laughs> um... Uh, sorry about the quality. I am assuming this was recorded quite a while back. Uh, just go by. It it's, looks like it's in, uh... Oh, what do they call that? A standard display? It's not widescreen, but... Anyway, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> okay, start off with uh, race, a big political issue, race. What do you think about race? Just, well, it's just all the same, aren't we, at the end of the day? Good. Yeah. I mean, some of us age better than others. <laughs> yeah? What do you mean? Uh, Chinese. <laughs> well, what do you mean? They just... They age better than us. No, the, the, the age worse than us. What's that based on? Just when you see them. <laughs> yeah, but are you doing how old they are? No, but you never see a sort of a 35 year old one. <laughs> what does that mean? You, you what does that 30, mean? You know, what do you mean you don't see a 35 year old one? Right, we're in London, yeah. yeah. It's a Chinatown. Yeah. So, I walk through there a lot. Right. And they just always look old. <laughs> yeah, but they might be old. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they're why is not. Wait, <laughs> you can't say that, Carl. Now you see some that are about, th probably about 30, right? And, and I'm not having a go, but normally, when they're about 20, they're good looking. Right. You think they're all right? Yeah. See when he's 30, forget it. They just age overnight, it's like a pair. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, man? So just what is your this? Chinese people age very... Uh, some of the <laughs> oldest people, I think the oldest man in the world is Chinese, 120. Yeah, he, says, he says he's 120. Probably about forty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, fact. I mean, I'm not like I say, I'm not having a go. I like them. <laughs> you gotta love the way his mind works. Oh my god! If this is just an act of his, it is. It is a great act. He is. He is. Oh my gosh! And then Ricky's laugh is just so contagious. 
but I've noticed something watching like taping Nigel and learning English. He's a he's a bit of a bully. So Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that button. Let me back up a little bit. I've noticed uh, he's he's hilarious, but he's a bit of a bully. Um. I forgot what else I was going to say. When I hit the button, that threw me off. <laughs> I get distracted so easily these days. Um, it, it's a lot of it. It's just my mind going in 50 million different directions at once. And I can't, I have trouble grasping onto thoughts sometimes. But, yes, this is hilarious. He is, uh... <laughs> Like I said, you gotta love the way his mind works. Fact. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not having a go. I like him. Keep themselves to themselves and that. They're all right. But, so with that in. So that's right. race. That's done. So that's brilliant. That's it. We've covered race. We talk about disability in the show. What are your views on the disabled? What dis what sort of disabilities? Well, what sort are they? Well, as soon as you mentioned disabilities, I'm thinking elephant man <laughs> rather than just in a wheelchair <laughs> okay because they get looked after they get ramps and that don't they they're all right but they're loving it they love they love those ramps don't they no, but they, they can't, can't get enough it. of those ramps in and out of libraries like nobody's business there's, there's different i mean you know that i'm into freaks and that <laughs> no again i'm not you know it seems like i'm just just having a go all the time no, but not. they fascinate me no, what do you mean what is a freak to you then Something like that you look at and you go, you know, you do a double take. <laughs> Steve Merchant. <laughs> uh, just, just, just start to stop. <laughs> right, okay. Like what though? When was it when they used to have sideshows and that and they'd, and they'd take them out like the pinheads and all that? Nothing's changed, has it? You know what I mean? People still like to see the two headed kid or whatever. <laughs> Who likes to see a two-headed kid? <laughs> That's what you mean, isn't it? You like to see a two-headed kid? There's no such thing. You don't know what? <laughs> There's not a two-headed kid. He's <laughs> got that book! Is it true you carry this book round with you? This is a book, right, of the 50 sort of weirdest things in the world. <laughs> 50 weirdest? It's a rundown, right? It's a rundown, it's a little chart. Yeah. Right? At number 50, don't know if you can get this. Two headed fella. That's at number 50. So what's at number one? It's not two heads. Of course it's two heads. It's not two heads. Can you see that or what? Yeah. What in the world? What do you mean it's not two heads? Well it's not, it's not, I mean it's, it's weird. I'll give you, it's, I mean that's not a, that's not a normal look. I will give you that. I mean I don't think he could be sorted out with the salon. But it's not strictly two heads, is it? But I know if you like it, that's good. Then. So that, right. Well, that's like, that's like number 50 and that. There's loads of, loads of stuff in it. Do you want to run through some of your favourite freaks with me? Uh, just got to watch it because it's getting a bit worn out. Some of my favourites, yeah? <laughs> just normal, normal lad, yeah? yeah. Looks normal there. Eh? Just a nice little head. Nice little hair cut on that. Nice top, right? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Three legs. Three-legged fella. He's quite happy with it. The annoying thing is, right? Yeah. Three legs. Yeah. You know what his job was? Yeah. Three legged juggler. <laughs> What's the point of that? What do you mean the point of it? Well, he was his careers advisor there. <laughs> <laughs> what should he have done? Well, he's got three legs, isn't it? So, any footballer, whatever. <laughs> jogger. <laughs> you a jogger. You know what I mean? Oh, God. <laughs> so, you got that in there. He's at number 23. <laughs> oh, God. There's loads of odd diseases. I mean, you were talking about like disabilities and that. Sometimes oh my God. it's not a disability. Sometimes just people have got weird stuff. There's, there's one there, right? Again, just normal family, family photo going on. Yeah, everyone's sort of stood around, stood around the piano with the little mate <laughs> who's got that that aging disease. <laughs> and it's not, it's not funny, is it? But look at him. <laughs> Sat around the piano, singing happy birthday for the eighth time that day. <laughs> right? Just <laughs> weird, weird stuff like that. Weird, isn't it? Oh, it fascinates me. It's not having a go. It's 
just just odd, odd <laughs> stuff. I like odd stuff. So <laughs> is that class as disabilities? Well, I thought so. That's what I think of them then. I mean, what other famous sort of freaks are they? See, I don't think they even like being called freaks. I think if you're born with an extra leg, and the uh, and the midwife says, "Well done, Mr. and Mrs. Chalmers, uh, you've given birth to a nine-pound freak." I think you know, I mean the freak isn't a term that I think they use. Well, how do they break it to them? I mean, do they do do, do they sort of just slip it in so they go right? We've got one leg out. And there's the other two. <laughs> just slip it in that way. <laughs> okay, how do they do it? Like the Elephant Man. Yeah. You know, he's that's my favourite film. You know that. Why is it your favourite film, though? Just it's, it's it's brilliant film. It's it's sad. It just makes you think. Oh, you know, I haven't got a big head. Yeah. Um, you must wake up every day and you're thankful you've got a normal shaped head. So you say that, but it's round. Perfectly spherical. What, what shape should heads be? Well, they're not the perfectly square up, is it? There's not... Most people don't look like a tennis ball. What? So, where are we? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Did he just call him a tennis ball? <laughs> so, where are we? Look at his face. It just about lost character there. <laughs> Yep, and almost got to him. <laughs> so, where were we? Elephant Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's my favourite film. See, you know that wasn't his real name? You know his name was John Merrick? But the doctors did use the Elephant Man as a name, so they knew what his problem was before he turned up, otherwise you're wasting time looking at filing systems. When they say John Merrick's coming in at three and the doctor's like, oh, what's his problem? <laughs> Wasting time, they go elephant bones in, they go, right, get some more bums in. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fact. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I need this today. I have been hurting since I woke up this morning, which the last couple of days has actually kept me from recording. Uh, I've been in just too much pain. Uh, a lot of it stemming from, well, this. And then I have bulging discs in my neck, which are causing uh, headaches, really severe headaches. So I uh, meant to record this a couple of days ago. Uh, I needed this, though. This is... Uh, it's, it's definitely a good pick me up. Um, he is, like I said, he almost lost character there. He started smiling. Uh, Ricky almost got him. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is great. He's, he's, he's hilarious. I love this guy. Sexuality, what do you think of uh, gay and lesbian issues? Each to their own. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I had one working for me. Right? One? You had one, yeah? Good. Gay fella. Yeah. Do you have a name or...? Yeah, 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 but again, it's like our doctor said Elephant Man's in. I'd sort of say, it's gay fella in, they go, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just quicker. Problem with him was, right, it's, it's gay stuff that he got to, whatever, you know, each to their own and that. But what? What sort of gay stuff well, have they got to? Well, what they do, they do stuff, don't they? But, but this, this lad, he saw his come in late because he'd stay out late. And that's what they all do. They're always tired. That's what they do. So, okay. Yeah, he's, you know, the, the gays are alright. Gays are alright. Good. What in the world is he talking about? He lost me. Is it something about they stay out late and they're always tired? So what in the world? I'm back up a little bit. <laughs> he lost me on that one. Stuff, don't they? But but this this lad, he saw his come in late because he'd stay out late. And that's what they all do. They're always tired. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. So okay, gays, you know the, the gays are all right. The gays are all right, are they? Good. Mm. How important do you think? Education is. I haven't got that much. I'm alright, aren't I? 
I mean, any form of education. I don't just mean that you can learn things. I you mean, can you know too much, though, can't you? And then you worry about stuff. What sort of thing? What do you mean? Just stuff, like if you watch the news, you start going, oh, it's a war on the map. Don't watch it. It's like, no worries. Do you know what I mean? You've got Einstein. Yeah. He knew loads. Look at the state of him. <laughs> what do you mean, look at the state oh, of him? He, 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 he looks a bit of a mess, doesn't he? Right. Whereas, I don't know, look at a caveman or whatever. With no worries. Fairly healthy looking, good hair. You know what I mean? They're not bald, they're not stressed out. Because you've lost a lot of hair, do you think that's from all this knowledge that's shooting around in your head? Yeah, probably. I do, yeah, <laughs> probably. I could do without, you know, some of the knowledge you've got on that. I think we need some evidence, though. I think we want to know some of the knowledge you've got. Right, what, what do you want to know? But I, I remember talking to. Maybe I can use that excuse. I think the back's racing the meets the front. Runs racing to meet the back. I usually just save it to help it all around. <laughs> to help it out. Uh, yeah, my hairline started moving back in my 20s. And yeah, now it's wee back here. But the back is getting close to catching up. <laughs> so, But I can't complain too much. I'm almost 50, so it's all good. Uh, at least I still got mostly brown up there even though my beard comes out mostly white now uh but yeah i got into a little argument with my clippers and they got me here and they got me right here and right here going across <laughs> the argument was i can still use my left hand to get that side <laughs> no now when it is, it, if I turn it wrong, it, it hurts. So I was like jerked away and one time I jerked forward instead of back and it got me. But that's neither here nor there. Um, who was I talking about? Oh, hairlines. <laughs> yeah. I just had to stop because I'm trying to wrap my brain around the idea that the hair loss is from the knowledge shooting out of his head. <laughs> Figure that one out. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Uh, anyway, back to that. So, I think we want to know some of the knowledge you've got. Right, what, what do you want to know? But I, I remember talking to you about the nature of infinity once, and uh, there's a lovely model that shows the nature of infinity, where they say um, an infinite amount of chimps, an infinite amount of typewriters, will um, type the complete works of Shakespeare. And you couldn't grasp that. You couldn't wouldn't grasp. happen. Wouldn't happen. I think you know it wouldn't happen, but you say it would to annoy me. No, because it works by definition, because it's the nature of infinity. It doesn't matter. If it, it, infinite means if they did everything at random, just random, 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 forever, forever and ever and ever, Eventually, they type everything. They it, 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 it wouldn't. It wouldn't. They check. What do you mean? It wouldn't. It wouldn't. There'd always be mistakes. There would be mistakes. They'd do the complete works of Shakespeare an infinite amount of times. Yeah, but do you mean they'd actually do it from start to finish, yeah. or a chapter? They might get a chapter done. You go right. Well done. It's like, start like, out. They know. Oh, well. <laughs> no, there's no. There's no feedback to it. It's just that everything being done, they will eventually do everything every time. They're, they're, they get it wrong an infinite amount of times. They get every letter wrong an infinite amount of times. Same monkey. Doesn't matter whether it's an infinite amount of the monkeys. Why well, does the other one know what the first one did? It do doesn't matter. They've chosen monkeys not because they're thinking about it to take <laughs> thought out of it. They want it to be random. Yeah, but when they hand over, when they shift over, over, what do you mean they shift? The monkey. The monkey's done done. I whatever shift pattern they're on. <laughs> They're not on a shift pattern. Inf infinity. You work from now, forever. That's one not... monkey. He's... What difference does it make if it's one monkey for an infinite amount of time? Or... Hang on a second. Yeah, these, these gotta go. Uh, I managed to catch my volume thing on the corner of my desk. And my headphones keep giving out. I'm gonna try these ones. These ones should work better. That's the right. It is not as comfortable as those. Eh, that'll work. Oh, let me just... 
What do you got? There you are. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I can hear both sides now. Or an infinite amount of monkeys. Infin both. Infinity. You work from now, forever. That's one monkey. monkey. What difference does it make if it's one monkey for an infinite amount of time, or an infinite amount of monkeys? Because you can believe it if it was, if it was one monkey doing it. Because he's going to get better, isn't he, as time goes on. It's nothing to do with their consciousness. It's nothing to do with them thinking about it. What do you mean he'd get better? He'd get better if he's doing it on his own. If it's just a one monkey, he knows what he's done. It's nothing to do with knowing what you've done. It's just a random process to show the nature of infinity. With no errors. It may not happen. Seriously, Peter. He's, he's, I think uh, you're winding me up on that one. It wouldn't happen. And it hasn't happened. Because we haven't had an infinite amount of monkeys. We've had years though, haven't we? There hasn't been one publication for monkey. <laughs> we've been around, we've been around longer than us. That's what I'm saying. We've been around longer than us. <laughs> <laughs> it happened, but I think you know. I think you know it's, it doesn't happen. What do you think of the old people? What do you think of their old issues? What do you mean? What do you think about, you know, but isn't it a shame that people work with their life and then just get a little state pension that. Oh, they do all right for themselves, don't they, old yeah. people? What do they do? Just, just potter about, don't they? Just potter. Yeah. They don't need much money. Yeah. As you get older. What do they spend it on doing? Ornaments. Which <laughs> are fading out, aren't they? Yeah. They, won't have, they won't have ornaments in a few years' time. No one buys ornaments now. It's always older people, isn't it? Yeah. Just as you get older, I mean, things are changing all the time. It's like I've said to you about old people that don't have Twixes, they don't eat Twix, but they like ornaments. So that generation, you know what I mean? Things change. What do you mean old people don't like Twix? You never see an old man having a Twix. You don't, you never see one eating one. Well, how would you know? Because you see them, don't you, sat about having Werther's or whatever, but you never see them sat there tucking into a Twix. I've never thought about it. Oh, that's because you haven't seen one, so think about it. If you saw, if you saw a fellow eating one, you'd go, that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. He has a point. <laughs> Where is it is? He has a point. There's a reason you don't see a lot of old people eating Twix. Same reason you don't see a lot of people eating, like, uh, Baby Ruth or stuff like that. It's because of the caramel in it. Will pull your dentures loose every time. There is no way to eat caramel unless it's in a hard candy form. So yeah, he's got a point. Even Ricky's like, "Well, damn, that made sense." <laughs> it's like the way the way he stopped it. I was like, "Well, uh, yeah." What's <laughs> Wix? I've never thought about it. Oh, well, that's because you haven't seen one, so think about it. If you saw, if you saw a fellow eating one, you'd go, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> to start with capital punishment, do you believe in the death penalty? Yeah, if, uh, if they know for certain that. Well, how do you know for certain? If they say I did it. Well, people have confessed before and been lying, haven't they, to get attention or something. Why would you, why would you lie? I mean, you might be protecting someone else. Uh, the love of, a, of a, a parent for their child who's committed a terrible crime might say I did it. There's loads of reasons. How, how can you kill someone? How can you make that a definitive ending when you can never know? Because that person wouldn't do it again because then they'd know, wouldn't they? What? Say if I did a murder. Yeah. You said, I'll take the rap for it. Yeah. Right? You go and get hung. Yeah. I can't do a murder again because they'll go so it wasn't at him. Well, well, there's be, no, there's loads of reasons people. Uh, uh, if you're mental, if you're a serial killer, you don't stop because you think you might get caught. So what are you asking me? I was asking you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just yeah, the the way his mind processes. Uh, if I do a murder and you get caught, get hung for it, well, I can't do it anymore because then they'll say, well, he didn't do it. What? <laughs> it's, all, it's okay until somebody gets caught, right? <laughs> if the last one stopped Ricky in his tracks, this one just has him confused. 
There's, be, no, there's loads of reasons people. Uh, uh, if you're mental, if you're a serial killer, you don't stop because you think you might get caught. So what are you asking me? I was asking you, do you believe in the death penalty? No. Well, <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? I don't know what the right answer is. Well, it's what you think. We're having a discussion. I said, I said, if, if they've done it and that, yeah, do them in, yeah. Could you pull the rope? Could you release the guillotine? Why am I getting involved in it? Well, if you believe in it, surely, you, surely if you believe in it, you should be able to stand by it. Well, what? Which one is it? Which one have I got to do? What, what button am I pressing? Does it matter? Well, yeah, it's different. Isn't it? it's well, you wouldn't hang someone, but you. So what do you do when you hang someone? You kick the stool away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Well, it probably is, I don't know. It's probably more sophisticated now. It used to be a trap door, didn't it? So you just go like that. It's an easy gig. That's a job. That's someone's job. Okay then, okay, we're not getting anywhere in. If you had to be killed, right, would you rather be hung, beheaded, burnt at the stake, or lethal injection? Probably, uh, probably injection. Definitely. Yeah. Listen, so you know, you just go to sleep. What if I tell you? Everything else is the same, but with a lethal injection, as he injects it, he just slips his finger up your arse for a laugh. How would that happen? Is that in small print? I've been told that before. I'm just saying, would it make a difference if you're going to die anyway? So he, he just lay down like that, right? He just injects it and he goes, okay, he's just got. Well, why is he doing that? What? Why is he doing that? Just for a laugh, why not? For a laugh? Well, yeah, if he's killing you, if you're worthless to society, why doesn't he help me? Might as well put his finger up your ass. What's it up to you? What's it to you? It doesn't make any difference to you, is it? You're going to die in a minute. And do I know he's going to do this? Yeah, it's a way. I'm not, I'm not happy. So what is it then? Leave injection with the finger up the ass. Hang him. I'm not happy with the finger up the ass. <laughs> no, you're not. But you're not. Surely you're not happy being put to death. I just say, what, what, hang on a minute. What, what's what? Why are you putting gloves on? Why are you getting that finger out to get my ass? He maybe he doesn't put gloves on. Why does he put gloves on? Well, I'm, I'm not happy with that. But it's nothing to do with you, Carl. Well, what do you have? I'd have police injection without the finger on my ass. That's not your choice, though. You've done a awful crime. I'm not having finger on the ass. Hang me then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd rather be hung than lethal injection with just, just popping the finger up your ass. I don't want that. So okay. Um. Uh. Me other have your head cut off. You know about the. Uh, are you are you still alive for about thirty seconds? I see you had your head cut off. Wouldn't have thought so. You see, this is, again, you know, you believe the monkey's talking away. Well, it's nerve reactions, isn't it? You're not alive as such. Well, they got them to walk um, years ago, whenever they did the last sort of head chopped off thing. How yeah. long ago was that? I don't know. A few years ago, right? Yeah. And um, they said to him, right, you're going to die in that. You've come yeah. to terms with it. Yeah. yeah. We have a bit of fun, right? Um, you got the arse? No, no, no. Gonna do a white line on the pavement. Bollocks. How could they tell him that that's what they were gonna do? So he was meant to what? Remember this and walk the white line without a fucking head. Well, that, this is what they did. Well, no. They painted a white line. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He said to him, right, I'm gonna cut your head off. Yeah. There's the line. Have a look now. Right, so you know where it is. Carl, think what you're saying. <laughs> how, is, how is he gonna remember it without a head? No, you remember, you, you remember. Where's the memory? Where's the memory? In his legs. Where do you think you store memory? In your fucking arms. Yeah, but if you do it quick enough, if it's like, go, and, and you no, he's walking there, head. and he's, he's walking, and he walk. He, no, 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 it's bollocks, it's bollocks. He did 35 <laughs> steps. Bollocks. It's not bollocks, though. Because how can the body remember what his head was told a few seconds ago? His head's now in a basket. Yeah. The body doesn't go, what was I meant to do? Sorry, what was I meant to do? I know, I was meant to walk along. Well, it was a test. Well, no, it was chickens. <laughs> this is yeah, this is too much. Oh my goodness, you gotta love this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking of chickens. Uh, got the head off the body, takes off running. It's... Oh, the nerves. Sorry, what was I meant to do? I know, I was meant to walk along. Well, yeah. they did it, it was a test. Like well, no, it wouldn't happen. You're talking shit again. Okay. Believe in absolute yeah. bollocks. So it's you with the monkeys and the Shakespeare. <laughs> That's what annoys me.
It's not about monkeys, is it? It's about random. Mm. So you have lethal injection. Lethal injection, yeah. I think that is best. Well, thanks very much, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs>